Let's take a look at the lineup on the pole. That's the 29 JR of Jaden Hammond into the outside. That is the 5A of Arturo Garcia. Row number two, that is the 33R. The name that Cody and I thought we had right, but we didn't. It's Jordan Rungi. And it is outside the 55 of Spencer Jans. Row number three, the 35M of Michael Brown. And the 24Z of Zach Bollmeyer. The fourth and final row, 21M Cullen Gossage. And Haley Bullware to the outside. We are green. And it is going to be Jaden Hammond. Oh, oh, with the early advantage. But a little bit of a shot in the shorts from Michael Brown. No harm, no foul. But check it out. Fast like he was last week. Zach Bollmeyer now is uh, going through three and four. He is on the tail. He's side-by-side side with Brown and on the tail of Hammond. Hammond leads lap number one. As they're going to put three deep contact between Mike Brown and Hammond going in turn one and two. As I believe it is going to be 24Z of Bowmeyer as caution flag comes out. As we got a car, Colin Gossage nose into the wall over there in turn one. 21M car. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's definitely yeah. got some some steering problems on that car. Ew. Yeah. Well, hopefully he'll be able to get a fix, and we might see him back out for the feature. But right now, it is going to be Zach Bollmeyer, your leader, Spencer Jans in second, Mike Brown third, your pole sitter, Jaden Hammond in fourth, and Arturo Garcia rounding out the top five. And Haley Bowler rounding out the field. We're back underway here. Heat racing for your MT Motorsports Sport Compacts. Bollmeyer leading the way in the 24Z as we're side by side for second. The 55 car of Spencer Jans up the track as we have the 35M of Mike Brown and Jaden Hammond battling it out side by side now for that second place spot going into turn number one. It is still Jans high wide and out around the outside. He is going to take the advantage over Brown, although he gets a little squirrely coming out too in that slick spot up by the trees. He is still going to be second, Mike Brown third. Oh, little contact between Jaden Hammond and Brown. But right now it's going to be all Zach Bollmeyer with the advantage as he is starting to walk away with three laps to go. Once again, Bollmeyer, Jans, Brown, Hammond, and Garcia, your top five. Jans a little squirrely off turn number two. Mike Brown had a run. As he's going to tuck tail behind the 55, now cut to the inside. Battle for second, coming off turn four. Green flag in the air, two laps to go for the 24Z of Zach Bollmeyer. Bollmeyer has uh, basically checked out here in this hit race. Left the card on the counter. Goodbye, checked out. See ya. He will see the white flag coming this time by off turn number four. So Zach Bollmeyer, him and his brother, both very, very fast last week. And he is picking up right where he left off as uh, he has... Almost a straightaway lead over second place, Spencer Jans. Uh, they're going to go down into three and four, and it is indeed going to be Zach Bollmeyer taking the heat one victory. Spencer Jans in second. Mike Brown not going to be able to catch Jans. He will settle for third. Jaden Hammond will round out your – will be top four, and then heavy left front damage to the 5A Arturo Garcia, but he will round out your top five. Haley Bowler rounding out the field in that 14 car. Okay, so it is Savannah Hens uh, with KW Siouxland Realty, and uh, we have some playing cards we'll be giving away from her. Of course, we also have some redneck racing um, koozies and wristbands. We have some hero cards. And uh, for the ladies, we still haven't figured out how we're going to do this yet, but we have some Sensi stuff to give away yes. as well. From Sensi by Nikki in 13T Racing, Richard Gray. As we go, green flag here on heat race number two for your MT Motorsports Sport Compacts. As looks like uh, Kyle Reed, the 38, that's going to lead lap number one. Connor Brown in second, three wide down the front stretch. Now into turn number one, Danny Vanderveen. Dale Gatton and Leah Peterson putting her three deep. As they're going to single file themselves out now around the raceway. Kyle Reed still your race leader. Connor Brown, Austin Honeycutt, Danny Vanderveen, Leah Peterson a little slideways off turn four, gathers it back up. We're still lean, mean, and green. Battle for the race lead now about to happen. Connor Brown a little tap to the 38S coming into turn three. Austin Honeycutt, a three-year. A there as well. 
The 3A minion car wants to get in on the fun. To the inside, Connor Brown. A little shot of the shorts to Kyle Reed again off turn number two. And to turn number three, they come. Three car battle for the race lead. Coming three deep off turn number four. Who's gonna get it? Kyle Reed, two laps to go. So it is Reed, Brown, and Honeycutt. One, two, three, but you could throw a blanket, a child's receiving blanket over him. Right now, Brown with a better run coming off the low side. Connor Brown, last week's feature winner, is gonna take over the lead as they're gonna see the white flag out. Brown, now Honeycutt, going to the inside of Reed. And that is a battle for second. Brown starting to gap the battle for second right now as Honeycutt, he's going to pull side by side with Kyle Reed and about a half a car length advantage. But as they come out of turn four, it's going to be Connor Brown picking up where he left off in the A feature last week. He'll take home the win. Austin Honeycutt second, Kyle Reed third, Danny Vanderveen sitting in fourth. And it is going to be the 24G of Dale Gatton rounding out the top five. And bringing up tail end Charlie, row four by himself. We've got confirmation. This is, ladies and gentlemen, the oldest driver in all of IMCA history. 87 years young and still a one-man show, Don Tank in the one. So that is uh, quite a feat. And, you know, he's only half a year younger than the legendary NASCAR Hall of Famer, Red Farmer. Found that out earlier today. As we're going to have green flag off turn number four. We are underway with heat race number three, your MT Motorsports Sport Compact Division. And a turn one, vote will lead them. As you have Bullmeyer in the 24 car shooting to that second place spot. Look at Don Tank, tail end Charlie Starter up to third in the number one. Age doesn't matter when you're racing, PJ. Don Tank up to that third place spot. If anything, maybe his age and treachery is helping him because he doesn't want these young whippersnappers to beat up on him. Right now he is uh, going from his seventh place starting spot, uh, and he is underneath Gilbert Aldape going for third right now. It is still Mike Vote, your leader. Richard Gray currently sitting in second, but that battle is not. And now here we go. We've got the 35 junior, Taylor Brown. He is going to go around the outside of Tank, and now he's going to go up against Gilbert Aldape for that third place spot. Bollmeyer actually running in second. Richard Gray uh, battling with Don Tank right now. Side skirt coming loose on the 13T down the front stretch here. Vote under attack from Bollmeyer. The 24 car to the left rear quarter panel is that 24 as they come into turn number three. Aldape in third, Taylor Brown in fourth. Richard Gray rounding out your top five of the 13T. Green flag is waving. We're two laps to go. Richard Gray said earlier if the uh, side skirt comes off one more time, he's taking it off and leaving it off. Well, I think it's about ready to come off on its own. But right now we have a battle for the lead as Drake Bollmeyer looked underneath the uh, 442 of Mike Vote. Didn't quite, wasn't quite able to do it. White flag is going to be out as they come out of turn four. And a uh, old oh, little shot in the shorts from uh, Bollmeyer to vote with love. Now, Bullmeyer again, going to try to go to the inside as, oh, Mike's going to bobble up a little bit, a little bit of contact on the back stretch, but new leader, Bullmeyer, and now here we go. Oh, a little bit of a dirty slider for Mike Vogt, but Vogt is going to take the win. Drake Bullmeyer in second. Third's going to be Gilbert Aldape, Taylor Brown fourth, and the 13T, Richard Gray, rounding out the top five. Ladies and gentlemen, as they come out of turn four, this is your parade and wave lap. Everybody get on your feet. Wave to the drivers. Let them know how much you appreciate them coming out on a Sunday night. Row number three to the inside, the 55 of Spencer Jans into the outside, the 35 JR of Gr Taylor Brown. Row number four to the inside, the 35 M of Michael Brown into the outside, the 3A of Austin Honeycutt. Row number five, we'll see the 24 of Drake Bollmeyer to the inside, the 24 Z of Zach Bollmeyer in an all Bollmeyer row. To the outside, row number six to the inside, the 35X of Connor Brown, and to the outside, the 69V of Danny Vanderveen. Row number seven to the inside, the 5A of Arturo Garcia, and to the outside, the 24G of Dale Gatton. Richard Gray, Cheyenne McCulley, Don Tank, Jordan Runge, Leah Peterson, Raymond Jensen, Cullen Gossage, Gage Reesdorf, and Haley Bull, where round out the field, we are green, and we are three, four wide almost, right off the start. 
and it is going to be Kyle Reed in the Redneck Racing 38S with the early advantage and a stack pack of Hungry Hounds behind him. We have about six, seven cars under a blanket right now. They are chasing that 38S. Caution flag flies, though, PJ. Leah Peterson around in turns oh. one and two. 33 car around. Is that a Reese's? Yes, it is. All right, what do we got? Nine six two one one five. Uh, that is not one of two one five. Was the one we drew. We are back underway, and this time it's going to be Jaden Ham and Mike Vote side by side as uh, they go through turns one and two. Oh, Gilbert Aldape and the fifty five of Spencer Jans getting together as they almost went around. But uh, no harm, no foul. Everybody's going to stay green. But right now, leading the first lap, that is going to be the 29 junior of Jaden Hammond. As Jaden Hammond is going to have the race lead, Hammond pushes up the track. They'll Mike Vote out to the race lead. Vote is leading them three wide for that second place spot. The 35 M of Mike Brown up to second. Jaden Hammond back to third. Angry pack of horns, mid-pack here as we are three wide once again off turn number two for that second place spot. Hammond, Brown, and I believe Bowmeyer, one of the Bowmeyer boys. In there, yes, it will be the 24Z. As we still have some great side-by-side -side three wide action. Off of turn number two here, down the back stretch now, off of three and four, Mike Vote the 44 car with the race lead. Mike Vote last week, uh, halfway through the feature, the hood came up on that 442 and uh, he couldn't see anything. This time, much better run and uh, caution is out as we've got Leah Peterson and I'm not sure who else down there in turn two. Oh, that hard. As Colin Gossage up into the nose up into the wall. Along with your regulars, you know, you got the Snowdrift, Blair Nordrift. You've got um, the Beinhoffs. You've got uh, GBJR. You, know, you got a ton of talent, and it's like the two series collide into one. And S. Lamar runner Tad Pospisil ran with them last night and picked up the victory at the off-road speedway. So once again, May 16th, mark it on your calendars. Meanwhile, we're going back to green flag of racing here at the new Raceway Park for the MSC Motorsports Sport Compact Division here. The 24Z, Zach Bullmeyer takes the advantage as he gets around the 442 of vote. Meanwhile, Danny Vanderveen still sitting there in third. The, uh, I believe that's the 35X last week's feature winner, Connor Brown sitting in that fourth place spot. And then look at this battle for fifth. You have Jans, you have Reed, and you have Honeycutt as they are trying to push it three wide. Now Spencer Jans again, high coming out of turn number two. That's going to open the door. That is going to let, oh, Honeycutt got into fifth, but then got a little shot in the shorts from Reed, which made him drift up right in front of Jans. And now they're ba beating him, banging all over each other. Our Jans and Honeycutt will have to keep an eye on them. Danny Vanderveen now going to the low side of the 442 of vote. That is your battle for second right there. As they come down, it is going to be the 24 Zia Bullmeyer leading, but but check it out. Vanderveen now sitting in second. Sitting in second place indeed and wanting more, trying to run down the 24 Z of Bullmeyer. That is Zach Bullmeyer to be exact. See what I did there, PJ? As he has the race lead here. Running in second, Danny Vanderveen, Mike Vote, your top three, Connor Brown, last week's feature winner, running in fourth. And Spencer Jans, the 55, running in fifth. Green flag flies high in the air. We've got two laps to go. Two laps to go, Vanderveen going to the whip, trying to get that former 3A Austin Honeycutt car up there. To, oh, and he is catching on Bullmeyer. He is catching mightily. White flag's going to be out this time by. Can he finish making up the ground? Honey, or, sorry, not Honeycutt. Vanderveen's car a little bit quicker as he's going to make up a little more ground coming off of turn two. However, I don't think it's going to be enough. 
Almost got the feature victory last week. This week he is going to seal the deal. Zach Bollmeyer is going to take the win. Danny Vanderveen out of retirement to second. Mike Vogt third. Connor Brown fourth. And Spencer Jans will round out that top five. What a race. What a show from the compacts. Zach, you started 10th here tonight and made your way to victory lane. What is this racetrack like, and what is it like running with this class of cars with so much talent behind the wheel? Well, I used to, back in 2017, 16, 17, I used to race at Eagle Raceway weekly, and then I was off a couple years, and I came back, and this track pretty much its the same thing, really, in my opinion. It's actually a little more fun, really. They keep it better here, but uh, I don't know. It was fun. Is it more fun to come from about mid-pack, like the 10th place starting spot you came tonight to get the victory, or how fun is it to work through cars? To be honest with you, I'd rather start on the front row because they don't drive you clean at all. But at the end of the night, picks up the victory here tonight. Congratulations, sir. Zach Bollmeyer, 24Z Sport Compact winner here tonight.